Hello and welcome to the Thursday, February 8th, 2024 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, I have a little bit of mystery today that I hope uh, some uh, listener will be able to help with. And that's a URL that showed up in our first seen URL list. Uh, that's the list where all URLs show up that have been seen for the first time in our honeypots, at least in some quantity. This particular list uh, URL is slash v5 slash device slash heartbeat. And the only thing I sort of could find about this particular URL is that it's very likely associated with Balina. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a platform to manage IoT devices. And uh, the API contains requests uh, like that. So it may be related to it. There is no obvious big vulnerability in this particular system that sort of uh, was disclosed lately. But these requests look, and uh, I think someone on Twitter pointed it also out, like uh, someone is trying to enumerate any systems running a Balina. There are a couple of vulnerabilities on LinkedIn. For example, someone pointed to a PNG vulnerability that affected versions of Balina because they include an older Node.js. This PNG vulnerability does not appear to be exploitable in this particular system. So unlikely it's this vulnerability, but I think it sort of is pointing to the right direction. Like many modern applications, this application is including lots and lots of uh, libraries and components. So it's very much possible that some component that is vulnerable could be exploited in this particular API. Also, I want to point out not to confuse this with Balina Etcher. Uh, this is a tool distributed by the same uh, organization. It's a tool to create uh, USB sticks from bootable USB sticks from ISO files. So often, of course, this is used in IoT environments, but it's really more a helper tool. It's very widely used but not really related to the API that's likely being attacked here. So if you have an insight, let me know. And then I have a correction about yesterday's podcast. Sadly, I messed up about the uh, toothbrush story. Was a good story, was too good to be true apparently. What happened here was that it was just a hypothetical scenario, nothing that actually happened. Uh, so sorry for helping amplify a story that probably just distracts from the real IoT problem. And we have a vulnerability that affects uh, pretty much any Linux distribution. The vulnerability is not in the Linux kernel, it's in Shim. Shim is an EFI application, it's part of a UEFI bootloader. The problem here is that this particular application can be subverted into essentially loading malicious firmware. The problem originates from Shim being able to load firmware over HTTP and as it parses the HTTP response coming back, it does not properly validate some of the parts of response coming back, which then leads to an out of bounds write that could then, for example, be used to bypass secure boot. This specific vulnerability has been assigned a CVSS score of 9.8. There are also five additional vulnerabilities being patched in this update. I don't see this as a super critical update. I don't think HP boot is really that uh, often used in particular, uh, not in situations where you do have a potential machine in the middle attack. So I would say apply the patch as soon as it becomes available, but nothing really uh, to lose too much sleep over. And CISA today published a detailed technical document regarding essentially lessons learned from Vault Typhoon. If you aren't familiar with Vault Typhoon, it was in the news a couple times uh, these uh, last uh, two weeks or so. It is a large bot that was shut down uh, by authorities and apparently it was linked to Chinese state actors who used it to attack uh, energy systems. The interesting part here for everybody outside of this fairly limited 
area of expertise is that uh, these living of the land techniques and such that are being now disclosed here by CISA are certainly things that if they aren't already being used are going to be in abused by other actors so definitely something that you want to pay attention to uh, or read what they have to say and then well maybe see how you can engineer some detection around this report in your own environment well and this is it for today so thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow